Hi, this is Kathy Brox of LUTG Radio, Chicago, Illinois. This is an example of a 15-second commercial. Contact us at lutgradio at gmail.com. Advertise with us today. We want your business. Contact us today. LA Workout Apparel. Look good while you sweat yourself to help. Many great looks for a beautiful you. Sweat in style in LA Apparel at LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Wet in style at LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Get your Ellie apparel now. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brooks. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus loves you, beloved, and so do I. My intro is by uh, Laswell. So, uh, mix and it's uh, through ccmixer.org. Amen. It's a free license. They make some good music over there. Amen. Some talented folks. Check out ccmixer.org. All right, y'all. Uh, before we get started with all the information and all other good stuff, uh, Godfather of House Music, Frankie Knuckles, passed away at the age of 59, I believe it was. That's young. That is super young. Super young. I do not have any of his music. I wish that I had so I could play it. But if you uh, check out V103 today at noon, if you are in Chicago, uh, you can hear uh, a tribute to Frankie Knuckles. Amen. Much prayer goes out to uh, uh, his family. And uh, you know my prayer. In the name of Jesus, Lord, have mercy on his soul. If he was not saved, Lord God, have mercy. Hallelujah. You know, that's what I always say. Amen, amen, amen. So, y'all remember that house music? I remember I was, uh, <laughs> I wasn't allowed to go to the warehouse. Uh, <laughs> It was just, you know, because, you know, back then, it was just a rough time. It was a rough time, uh, people getting shot in, in the area that it was in. You know, when you get to the place, you know, it's cool, except for, you know, maybe occasional fight. But most for the most part, it was a cool place to be. Nice and, you know, from what people tell me, you know, good music. But I could always hear him on the radio, on GCI, uh, you know, if you want to be whatever they would play his music. Now, I could always hear his music, and uh, eventually he would go out to different places where I could go. Where, <laughs> you know, and it gets to a point where, you know, you tell you tell somebody you can't go someplace for so long, and, you know, you have a, a father, as a, a cop that's a father, and a mother that works in the hospitals, and they're telling you, guess what happened at the hospital? Such as, you remember, you heard about the people that got shot? They came over to Cook County. I just saw a lady, she was blank, 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 blank. They don't give you the name and stuff, but they tell you the, the horrific stuff. And they'll tell you, you want to stay away from this, this, and this. This is what happens when this happens. And so I wasn't necessarily afraid, but I was definitely aware. Okay, look, I know X, Y, Z going to happen or could happen by going in that particular area. So I'm not going to go, I'm not going to do this by myself. I'm going to go in a group. I'm going to do this. You know what I'm saying? So you got to use wisdom. So I would... I would take the knowledge that they would give me and not be afraid, but I would use it to my advantage. And it would help me to, uh, as I would go about my day, or if I had to go somewhere at night, or if I was coming home at night, it would help me. Uh, I remember this one guy, called, I was coming home from uh, classes in the college, and he pretended that he was a, a college student. He had on one of those college t-shirts. And uh, he had uh, told this woman that he could take my uh, my gloves, some leather gloves, 
and um, I knew that he had wanted them. It was given to me, so I mean, I didn't purchase them. But I was, I was <laughs> so I didn't really have a real stake in them, uh, other than uh, the fact that my brother had given to me, and I wanted to keep them. But uh, I knew that he had wanted them, and he was willing to do anything for them. So uh, my father would say things like. Or my, and my mom would say things like, you can always replace things, but you, you cannot replace. Once you go, once you pass, you know, you go on to heaven, and there there will never be another like you. So, he called himself trying to walk me home and whatnot. Now, he already knew me. He knew me from the neighborhood, and he knew of me, but I didn't know that much about him. But I knew that he knew me, and I knew what he wanted. And I knew that he was out for no good, and the chances are... He would either get hurt because, you know, I was on my block, or his life would be taken because he was about to do something stupid, and I wasn't just going to, you know, take it. So anyway, uh, short end of the story is, he's like, oh, I'm cold, I'm cold, and it really was cold outside. So I said, i tell you what, you, here, why don't you just take these gloves? He's like, oh, for real, for real? I was like, yeah, go ahead, take them. I mean, I had more gloves, you know, I had a coat, I had a warm house, you know, and whatnot. And he was just simply pretending. And, you know, knowing me, is there anything else you want? All right, have a good day. Are you hungry? You know what I'm saying? So that that was just me. Uh, I don't recommend folks doing that. It's just that um, sometimes we're more comfortable when we're on our home base. And, you know... I knew that uh, I had resources on my block that I did not have as many several blocks away. I still had resources several blocks away, but I had more resources on my block, if you feel me. <laughs> so anyway, I gave him the gloves and bid him adieu, and um, there you go. All right, uh, so... Uh, I say all it says we got my piece coming up, uh, and then we got uh, the birthdays coming up. My piece is about midway through, and we got uh, the birthdays coming up shortly. Amen. And then we got the altar call in the last five minutes of the segment, and then there's some music. Uh, this is Shawana Hayes, "Free to Be Me." You guys should check out her website. She has some really good pictures up there. She had a picture of uh, her. I guess it was her and her niece, or one of her uh, friends' uh, daughter, or whatnot. But this kid, I shouldn't call her a kid because she's like a teenager or something. Uh, but this this young girl, she looks so much like Shawana Hayes. I'm like, are you sure you don't have kids? Because <laughs> to look at her, it's like, she looks like your twin. Oh, my goodness. So, <laughs> you ever met somebody and they it, they don't have kids, but the kids that they are around look so much like them? You like... Are you sure that kid is the spitting image of you? Are you absolutely sure you don't have kids? <laughs> now everybody gonna be walking down the street today looking at folks and looking at kids to see who they look like, right? <laughs> Alright, he is free to be me.
who rock the latest fashion and clothes. Trying to fit in, trying to follow the trends. Do whatever we can to be accepted by friends. Some act like Xerox and copy what they see. I had to drop a song called Free to Be Me. But in case you missed it, I went back and remixed it. Cause I know peer pressure and how things get twisted. Some kids get picked on like you wouldn't believe. Teasing even told that they wouldn't succeed. So tired of being bullied that they looking for fatigue. Well, this song's for y'all. Sing along and repeat it. Make it your Facebook status text and tweet it. Put it on blast so everybody can see it. Lift your head up high and believe that you got it going on all by yourself. So let's see it.
or later, uh, and this gon' get it. Everywhere I go, hood, and spill it. I'm a good brick and rebelling. Yeah. By the way, I walk, you probably think I'm jelling. Yeah. Do you follow my thoughts? It ain't no telling. Uh. Double entendre, but it blew over your head like a quick, swift breeze. Now your hat over the ledge, and I'm just like, whatever. I'm just writing clever. Mind over matter, my rhymes like a lever. Trying to reach that level, trying to beat the devil. Yeah. On this dark night, uh. thinking about a ledger, yeah. equity, expenses, assets, etc. My aunties say God gon' bless ya, but I gotta keep the lead in case some niggas wanna test. I eat or starve either way, they gonna arrest ya. So if you go down, at least keep something extra. My sickness is sickening yeah. My prescription is sick Kicks on thick chicks yeah. Pretty face, big fist But I just kill beats This was on the hit list Now I made it to yo, this my ish mix C-O-D, I need money for the shipment Don't know where I'm going But I'll get there in a minute yeah. I gotta get it, period In a sentence Hold on, man. Hold on, man. I ain't finished. I can, I can. That's my mantra. ABM. That's my sponsor. Yeah. I'm Ron to Japan with the tail of a lobster. Jaws of the grams. That's the smell of a roster. Stars on my hand. That's the spell of a rock star. I'm hard on my plan. Top prevail like a mobster. Understand that I have no control. This is all God's plan. So I rejoice in the moment with my friends, and I don't have many. I can count on one hand. Please guide me through all my endeavors. So crank up the bass and the same with the trouble to my name. Packs a place and I'm flame like the devil. I relax with my mates. Yeah, I came with some rebels. So relax while I revel and unravel and bring back order without touching the gavel. Just feel I have to. That's worth the gathering. That's why I travel and lay gravel. Create a path with way less hassle. So by the time my nephews flip they tassels, I'll be sitting on the cash flow, backing out the castle with a Bad boy in a bad road. Hey. This is Kathy Brox of LUTG Radio, Chicago, Illinois. This is an example of a 15-second commercial. Contact us at lutgradio at gmail.com. Advertise with us today. We want your business. Contact us today. LA Workout Apparel. Look good while you sweat yourself to help. Many great looks for a beautiful you. Sweat in style in LA Apparel at lutgradionetwork.com. Sweat in style at lutgradionetwork.com. Get your LA Apparel now. All righty. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It is about 36 degrees in Chicago. I was expecting 20. We up to 36. Hey, I think we're ahead. Atlanta is 53, Atlanta, Georgia, that is, and L.A., La La Land, Los Angeles, California, it is all of 53 degrees. What? Wow, that's kind of cold. Amen. All right, so we got the birthdays and the uh, celebrations coming up. If today is your birthday, oh. <laughs> I was wondering why was there a, a, a marker on California, right? They like this uh, special weather statement. <laughs> Guess what's happening? It's raining. <laughs> it never rains in sunny California. I tell you. <laughs> well, it's going to rain today. <laughs> oh, man. 
they had these breaking reports, uh, like in the, I think it was in March when it <laughs> when it rained in California. So I am just so tickled that they have this another breaking report that it's raining. Oh my goodness, I love California. Only in California will they start tripping over rain. <laughs> Alright, so if today, if today is your birthday, then definitely happiest of birthdays to you. Amen. You happen to uh, celebrate it with a few famous people. Randy Orton, Asa Butterfield, Kid Inc. Oh, he's so handsome. Susan Boyle. Go ahead, get that confidence up, girl. Uh, Beth Twiddle, uh, Matt Lanter, Debbie Reynolds, and Hannah Hannah Spirit and Hillary Scott. Uh, that I got that information from uh, FamousBirthdays.com. Got to give everybody their props. And um, congratulations, amen, to Angela and Daniel, who will be tying the knot. It looks like Daniel popped the question, y'all. Woohoo! All right, now. And he got him a smart girl, too. Angela kind of smart that. Amen. Psychology and all that other good stuff. Look out, dude. Amen, amen. Ain't nothing like an educated woman. Look out. All right, now. And she she, uh, she wrote on her Facebook page. She loves him. I'm telling you, when you can get a woman to profess her love like that, to some dude to just totally surrender to a guy, you got something special. You're like, all oh, women are always professing their love. <laughs> some women do it to manipulate. But this one, not this one. This one is, I've known her since I was in school, and uh, she's been pretty cool. You know what I mean? You can tell the real ones, the, the ones that are not always trying to manipulate people, people that are genuine. And so, congratulations to Daniel. He found him a good thing. And congratulations to Angela. All right, y'all. Go ahead, go ahead. Amen, amen. Here is your special day by the Brimers. Don't
six summer nights on the cold southerly. Ten cop wheels across the sea. They come skipping on around us and the fire burns incandescently. I trail my fingertips up and down your hips. Storm went from the bottle. Wrote a smoke and tried to be philosophical. Such found, found, unfounded by the way that you move. You just look my way and sway. About your mind, should we lay on top for hours? Our religion, politics, and our purpose. Shall we contemplate that universe? Well, maybe just get high. I will read you little extracts from Kandira to Kerouac. You will teach me what it means to be vulnerable and free. We can let go on board and our vision will learn how to be afraid. You just look my way and sway. Demons mine and brazen and rolling and fail to goosebumps when you're around. Your tempo makes my heart beat and it keeps it beating aloud. And I don't want to miss a feeling to ever, ever stop now. Kathy Brox of LUTG Radio, Chicago, Illinois. This is an example of a 15-second commercial. Contact us at lutgradio at gmail.com. Advertise with us today. We want your business. Contact us today. LE Workout Apparel. Look good while you sweat yourself to help. Many great looks for a beautiful you. Sweat in style in LE Apparel at lutgradionetwork.com. Sweat in style at lutgradionetwork.com. Get your LE Apparel now. You should check out lutgradio.com. The LE Apparel has a new collection out for spring. And you definitely want to get your exercise clothes. They're really cute too. I mean, there's no sense of getting your body in shape and dressing like a hag. You might as well look good as you go slimmer and slimmer and stronger or whatever. Whatever you're doing, you know, look good. All right? Different size clothes, y'all. Amen. Different sizes, different sizes. Uh-huh. <laughs> Say, Ellie ain't just for the skinny girls. For all sizes. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. All right, y'all. It's about the time for my piece. And I have a question for you. Did you ever run across one of those relatives that always has an opinion on you? They'll say stuff like, Dang, girl, you're too skinny. Or they'll say, You eat like a bird. Or they'll say, You still in school? Man, how long has it been? And then they'll come back to Ooh, finally, it looked like you gained two pounds. <laughs> and all you're thinking is, what the freak? And you want to ask them, can you tell me, what is the third string on my DNA doing right now? Or, will I poop out the bird feet? When will I poop out the bird feet? Or, 
Will I pee out the two pounds or sneeze it out? Because, you know, they have such an authority on you. Right? <laughs> and then you ask it. Then you, you ever wonder uh, why men know so many things about you that you didn't know? Like, for example, you didn't know that you wanted him until he told you. Seriously. You think you would have chose better, right? Because... You you could be in the laundromat, you can be in the grocery store, minding your own business, that you can be walking down the street. It don't matter. All of a sudden, you hear this guy saying, "Oh, yeah, I date her, but she needs some new jeans on. She needs some new shoes. She need this. She need that. Get that hair tight. Yeah, I do it though." And you look over at him, and he got less hair than a newborn baby. He looked like he brushes his teeth with coffee. And his hair and his nose is so long you can jump rope. And you're thinking, really? You do me. I run from you. Matter of fact, I'm going to do that right now. So, <laughs> my piece is all about, look, loving who you are, being true to you, and remember, you decide who you are. Don't let other people tell you who you are. That's my piece. I'm just saying. We got the author call coming up for you in less than six minutes. Hi, this is Kathy Brox of LUTG Radio, Chicago, Illinois. This is an example of a 15-second commercial. Contact us at lutgradio at gmail.com. Advertise with us today. We want your business. Contact us today.
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. If, if you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, but want to, repeat this prayer confession after me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I confess my sins before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead, that I am saved and receive you today wholeheartedly 100 percent make me a light in a dark place and from this day forward i will leave this place and share you with everyone i meet and everyone i know it's commitment jesus i will get this world for you i pray this prayer to the father in the name of jesus amen i receive the baptism of the holy spirit in the name of jesus with evidence of speaking in tongues for the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus by the will of Jehovah God. Amen. Congratulations. Go to LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Click on the link, Find a Church. Get baptized with water. Take your foundation class and your prayer intercessory class. And tell them you got saved on Barack FM Radio. And begin reading the Holy Bible, starting with the New Testament, uh, the book of John. All right, y'all, that's uh, LUTG Radio, not Barack. Barack is part of the LUTG Radio Network. I meant to cut that off. I had ice in my mouth. I was running to check for the parking. Because, you know, today begins the uh, street cleaning. So it, when you go on the website, the 311, it's kind of hard to tell what block they're going to be on. So I'm going to call and check and see where they're at, <laughs> what street they're at. Because they just started coming, cleaning and giving tickets and towing people. So we don't want that. So what I'm gonna try and do is uh make make it so that map is easier to read. So I'm gonna see if I can get some information on it and then I'll post it on the acwmedia.com website as well as uh, facebook.com forward slash L U T G Radio two four seven. All right, follow me to the next segment, which is the vocabulary and ministry minutes. We got more for you. Amen. This is Kathy Brox for L U T G Radio and congratulations. Hallelujah. <laughs> 